Hey everybody. Um, garden's looking kind of misshapen right now because like I've mentioned before, in between crops, crops, plantings, so cleaning up and getting planting new ones, which is what we're going to go over here today. Just going to show you the wonderful San Diego, East County San Diego skies. A lot of people think San Diego, they think the beaches, but this is the East County Santee. It's uh, just above 80 degrees. We reached 90 degrees. We're going back up in the heat. And I'll show you looking east. And let me go over here. See eastward, you can see. I know this house is in the way, but that's our mount. That's the beginning of our mountains. You'll see more mountains over that way. But the Laguna Mountains, if we go down into Arizona, where Todd lives. So uh, we're not going to talk about all this updating cleaning. I'm doing it. I'm getting there. But we're going to talk about what I've done to prevent roots from getting into my drains. Especially on the tomato plants. Didn't have any problem with the green peppers this time. But tomato plants would grow into here. So I'm taking an idea from Todd and others using the paint strainer bag. I know Matt over at Home Gardens doesn't like that idea, but I'm doing what they call a double Dutch bucket. These are Dutch buckets. This is a double Dutch bucket. You can see two buckets here. And I'm using the paint strainer as well. So I have two protections there from hopefully getting roots in. So this is the bucket we've been using. You can see it's still kind of dirty in there. Clean it out with our drain elbows and I have another video already up on doing these Dutch buckets. What I did is I took a second bucket. This is the bucket that's going to hold our plant and I drilled some holes on the bottom. Real easy to do and I'm reusing my bottom ones and then I'm just going to take the paint strainer. I'm holding the camera at the same time. I should probably put it on the tripod but Sorry guys, see my crotch there. Just put the paint strainer there and I will fill that up with the hydrotin clay balls and then it will sit right inside there. And I've already measured, uh, luckily I did some good measuring there so it fits perfectly right above the drain there. And when I finish filling it up with the clay balls, I went ahead and uh, from uline.com, I bought some lids, same place I bought my buckets. Um, I mentioned in the previous video that um, the company uline.com, I buy shipping supplies from them and cardboard and stuff for my business. They also sell these buckets. Now they're not cheap. I forget what the price was. They're like four to five dollars a bucket. But you know, trying to find this many buckets at a local bakery, I, I tried. Um, didn't work. And I over ordered. I have all these buckets here. I got really ambitious and I still have buckets over there. So hopefully I can use enough for double dutch. I'm going to do the tomatoes and double dutch. I don't know about the bell peppers, but I went ahead and ordered some lids last week. Cut a hole in the top and a slot so I can get it around the plant. And that's to keep the sun off the top so I won't have the algae forming. And I don't know if I can see any here, but weed seeds do fall in there. That actually is probably a tomato. But you can see the weeds, weed seeds do fall in there. So this lid will help prevent that. And then I use one of my clamps here, which will hopefully stay. If not, I'll rig up something else. But I'll keep my water down in there and uh, keep it water. It also help, you know, when it's not covered, when it's covered like this, to be less evaporation like I have going here. I gotta shut this water off. Now I'll just let it go a little bit. I like keeping the little bacteria in there happy until I'm ready to ditch the bucket. So that's my solution for hopefully not clogging the drain line there. We'll see what happens. And uh, here's something else interesting. I, this plant here was growing up here still. I decided to go ahead and cut it down. 
make room for the new ones. And then I went to go pick up this clipping here and this little booger was there. I remember having him a, a, a few of these, um, even in my hydroponics uh, greenhouse, I've had a few of these guys. So he's going in the trash. Look at your stinger. And I, I went ahead and looked around here. I didn't see any on these guys. So I'm gonna have to figure out a deterrent for these guys here. They don't get any more. But I didn't see any here. They're hard to see. I mean, I mean you're just glancing. You have to really look. And I, I haven't seen any. So I think I'm lucky I only had the one or maybe two in this batch here. So anyway, Sorry for the shoddy camera work here, but um, just want to put that out there. Um, double Dutch bucket, maybe that will work better for drainage. I know part of the issue is you're supposed to have a little bit of water down there in case your water stops up here. You have a reservoir there, but I think that will still, I don't know, we'll see. I think that will at least help my drains and we'll see how the plant grows. And I did, you know, lose a couple inches in height there. Anyway, we'll end over here on the fishes. Oh, and I did get my barrel today. So I can start work on mineralization tank, which is going to go right here. And I also decided instead of moving this over here, I'm going to build a control house right here little roof on it keep it all dry and have my power supply and power strip air pumps I have two in there now one air pump one small air pump is driving the air stones for the fill and drain beds the other air pump is doing bio filter and air tanks or fish tanks and when I need it it's doing the uh, rain tanks so what I think I'm going to do, that's a big piece of poo. I'm going to get another air pump. And that air pump will be just for mineralization and bio. One just for fish and then one for beds. So that's the plan the next couple of weeks. Hopefully it will cool down some more. But I have a feeling we're heading into another heat wave. And in September is usually the hottest for us. And so I'm going to feed these guys, head on inside, and play me a few rounds of Fortnite. So I will talk to you guys later. Where should we end tonight up? Let's go back to corn. we got several corns on the cob here, and I'm hoping they come out healthy. No bugs. It doesn't feel healthy. We'll see. Here's the corn on the cob. Hope you guys have a good weekend. See ya.